<laughs> so exactly what's he pulling us over for? That's a great question. This is Jeff Sigger reported from the police Hillsboro. After several times selected the bird would be with an officer, we are now the So here is the offending finger. No, this is the offending appendage. <laughs> which just pissed him off to the point of pulling us over. This is James Maddox reporting for Family Police Portland. We just uh, got pulled over for uh, any particular reason why you pulled me over, officer? No, they have a fucking shit. So this is uh, James Matt. Peach. All right. Good. Good. It's a canine officer. I am. I'm enjoy. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Officer Bassinelli, being the police? Right on. The reason I pull you over is because you're stopping in the middle of the road like that instead of going the speed limit, and there are more than four cars back in. Peter. We were stopped. When did we stop? You almost stopped. I have almost a continuous a video feed rolling. Insurance, please. You mean slowing down to 25, which is the uh, registered speed instead of going fast? This has been one continual video link, Officer. It's it's going to be documented what you're saying. We did not stop like you just alleged. All right. Sure the like, you know, so this has it, nothing to do with the fact that we gave you the finger multiple times. No, you're freedom of speech. You can say whatever you want. That's correct, and I shouldn't be pulled over by a goon for it. <laughs> There's my insurance. Thanks, And like I said, the video camera has been rolling the entire time since we passed you on the corner. Mm -hmm. When you got your first dose of free speech. There you go. You have a registration, please. Um, I can't find it. You can't find Repeat it? No. Nope. It's on your operator vehicle. What's up? Repeat that for me. Oh, I said this has been yeah, one no continuous uh, video uh, since the first time that we passed the yeah. officer and gave him a healthy dose of free speech, which was the finger. Yeah. What? So conspiracy to hold a finger uh, uh, up in an officer, yeah. So he didn't complain about you getting out? No, he reached for right. his radio, but other Why than that, Why would he do no. that? So let me ask you this, was that running the whole time? Yes, it was running the entire okay, time. cool. Yeah, I got the uh, speed on uh, Jeff's camera, too. Mm. <laughs> you know how to focus that? <laughs> making sure if he's gonna try to say that Bob stopped it's just total bullshit I had my camera rolling the whole time well I mean that we have we can feel the physical gravity upon our bodies <laughs> that we were in the vehicle <laughs> you can do it Doing quite well. Excellent. Oh. So yeah, pulled over for contempt of cop. Contempt of cop. Contempt of cop. Yes, that's why we were pulled over. 215 Friday September 16th. I was up Mike do all the work. Yeah, it's 215 um, early Friday morning, 215 September 16th, and we've been pulled over for giving this cop the finger. <laughs> oh yes. I believe it's the ninth circuit court of the York Federal uh, Federal appeal, yeah. Circuit Court of New York, the Ninth Circuit. Said no, 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 no. It wasn't New York. It's a, uh, it uh, it's where we are. Ninth Circuit is uh, California, Oregon, uh, Washington. and Washington and Hawaii. One of the Yes, it gets stopped on the highway, and now Washington is 
sure if this is the right. Oh, they have a ride along. I'm gonna give this one the finger for the amusement of his ride along. Oh, guys, I'm hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. I've never been pulled over for contempt of cop before. I don't know what that is. That's when I do this and you pull me over because that's what just happened. Uh, why would you do that? That's not very nice. Why would you take a profession where you screw over people for a living? Okay. Why would you do that? I think I'm done talking to you. What'd you say? I think that would be very wise. Because <laughs> I, I haven't said anything negative to you or hostile. Can I ask you a couple of questions? No, I'm done. With him? No. I haven't interacted with you at all. You're so serious about that. Thank you. See, unlike a police officer, we're individuals. We have different and very important reactions. <laughs> It's a job that takes human misery and generates revenue. Right, it, converting human misery to cash. That's what this guy does for a living. You can look for any opportunity. And you wonder why I give you the finger. If you look for any opportunity, you can't criminalize something and air it would generate revenue. You criminalize people, you essentially, well, you fuck their lives up pretty well. I'd like to remind everybody that September 17th, Saturday, is the 10 year anniversary of the death of James Chassis. Now you can say it was Portland police that did that, but the vicious and brutal nature of the killing is pretty pretty indicative of most departments around the country accused of such heinous actions. It's a pretty common thing, right? Mm hmm Might be trying a little too hard, but... No. Happens in a city somewhere all, uh, at a, pretty much every night somewhere in this country. You know who's still a Washington County Sheriff's Deputy? Mm hmm Christopher Gillerson. Mm hmm you know he showed up to a call where a guy had stolen some stuff and then he decided to go on for several minutes while he was transporting the man to uh, Washington County Jail about how many Somalians he'd killed in the military and how he, the man was a Somalian and how many Somalians he'd laid into with his M60 and supposedly gave the man a rough ride after punching him in the face. That's beautiful. That's a heart, heart heartwarming story, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you for that. You're welcome. And then, of course, is the continuing occurrence of sexual scandal over at Washington County Jail. Oh, sure. Over and over and over and over. And then, of course, forgive me, Deputy Jonathan Christensen, who began the list of her co-worker, and then when she wished to end it, showed it to her house and put a uniform and threatened her to be And of course, let's not forget that one in four police officers suck their wives. So you got a court date, Bob? What's the nature of the charge, Mr. Bob? We're trying to find a registration paper. No. Well, not the registration paper. I always like a shot that has like another cameraman in the shot. Good decision not talking to me, though. I'd tear you a new asshole. <laughs> oh, oh. You must start taking bets on how many more will show up. <laughs> Did you guys scare him? <laughs> what? No, he knows it's done. It doesn't need any other cover officers. Don't. We're just filming. Oh, Don't, uh... Right oh, right on. Behind you. Well, good for him. Remember, never turn your back on a wild hog. I, I, I try not to. I mean, I have, I have you to help film. You know. I'll go see if I can engage these guys. I went straight too far away now. I'm a white man. They're quite dangerous. You are white, so you have that in that in your favor.
he done with you, Bob? Yep. What, what bullshit ticket did he give you? No, I didn't. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll have a wonderful night. Bye-bye now. Enjoy turning human, human misery into uh, revenue. Enjoy yourself. Maybe you'll find somebody else to pull over and harass that uh, won't slavishly fucking worship your uniform. Asshole. <laughs> All right, fine. Come on, Jeff. I'm keeping my camera on. Fucking douchebags.